5.56 NATO, the caliber used by the US military and many of its allies, also wildly popular among civilians in the US and the standard caliber for America's rifle, the AR-15. While we may be able to debate its effectiveness, it is hard to debate its popularity as it is probably the most popular center-fired rifle cartridge in the United States. As prolific as the 5.56 is, it also has some challenges. One of those is suppression. 5.56 is very loud and 5.56 is also very hard on silencers. This has always been a challenge for silencer designers when trying to tame the 5.56. To add to this dilemma from a silencer design perspective is whether you go at suppressing 5.56 with a more traditional baffle can or do you take the more modern, although more challenging, flow through or low back pressure design to allow the guns to function better while they are being suppressed. Liberty Precision Machine looked at this issue and simply answered yes. By that, I mean that they designed the torch to be an extremely effective 5.56 silencer, taming one of the hardest rounds to suppress quite well, while giving that same can flow through attributes using a quite complex baffle system and achieving all of this with a simple end cap swap. If you're not familiar with Liberty Precision Machine, they have quietly been making some of the best silencers available. I reviewed their Anthem a while back, which is their 30 cal offering, and was blown away by the performance. If you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend you go back and take a look. That is also why I was so excited to get my hands on their new 5.56 offering, the Torch. The Torch is a complicated silencer that has a lot more going on internally than is apparent from its simple, clean-looking exterior would represent. What makes this can special is it essentially gives you two silencers in one, and it achieves this by having modular end caps, one vented and one solid, that when combined with its very unique baffle stack, it can deliver two very different results. It can deliver the user a really effective flow through or low back pressure silencer with impressive sound performance. We don't have any technical or scientific way of demonstrating low back pressure, but what I can tell you is that this gun with the vented end cap, most guns could be ran on the same setting they were used in with the Huxworks Flow, a can known for its impressive low back pressure, meaning that these cans should have very similar characteristics in that respect. All right, so we're using this uh, rifle with the rifle speed, and he had it set for his baffle can, still a little bit high. Um, <laughs> and uh, it was malfunctioning on three, so we had to move it up to 10. We have the flow through cap on this. 12 is max. Yeah, and 12 is all the way open. So there is definitely some flow through capabilities built into the torch. If you want to go even quieter, say like on a bolt action or something that doesn't really benefit from the low back pressure characteristics, change to the solid end cap and while the back pressure will go up a little, the sound performance will also go up. That is essentially like having two silencers in one. This is achieved with the end caps, but also with a very unique baffle stack. From removing the back of the silencer, you can see there's a lot going on. First off, the initial baffles are significantly larger than the caliber. This is diverting some of the gases into a second gas stream that you can see gets vented at the end of the can through these holes by the end cap. Also, this pushes the first caliber specific baffle deeper into the can, helping keep erosion down. What all this translates to is a silencer that can deliver very low back pressure, very good sound performance, and actually reduces recoil, making the gun feel smoother, which is great, especially on short barrel rifles and six arc. Watching the torch through a thermal lets you see that it is definitely not your standard baffle can. Just being honest, when I got the silencer in, I spent better than the first half of my time with it using the solid end cap. I knew that translated to a quieter can, and that's usually what I'm looking for. Well, I was missing out. The vented end cap is actually where it's at. You trade the slightest amount of sound performance for ridiculously low back pressure. 
low back pressure on par with the best performing cans in this category. Plus the tone, especially when shooting short barrel rifles or six arc is deep, making it more pleasant to the ear. In fact, that's where I think this can really shines for me. SBRs and six arc can both be kind of finicky to suppress and the torch with the vented end cap has been working phenomenally well and will be my current choice, especially for six arc. On 6ARC, some cans cause crazy back pressure problems, some cans are ridiculously loud, and some cans cause this weird reverb or vibration in the barrel, I imagine from the pressure. Hard to explain, but if you've ever seen it, you know exactly what I mean. The torch seems to be very happy on 6ARC, and plays nicely with at least the handful of 6ARC rifles that I have. This of course would also apply to any 5.56 that you have that also prefers a little less back pressure or a system with little to no gas adjustment. This can will allow it to run smoothly and quietly. Well, I think I've been going on just about long enough. Time to let you all hear it for yourselves. Well, I hope it came across in the video, but the torch is an extremely impressive silencer. Let's take a look at the basic stats. The torch is 6.2 inches long with no mount and has a 1.74 inch diameter and will weigh in at 14 ounces without a mount. It is constructed out of 17.4 stainless, features a hub mount in the back, making it compatible with virtually any mounting system. And like we stated earlier, has the swappable end caps. Pew Science recently published his numbers on the torch and I'd like to bring a few things to your attention that translate exactly to real world use. The overall numbers are very good and when compared head to head with a lot of the top performing cans, the torch outperformed them including cans like the Surefire RC2 among others. Another thing I would really like to shine a light on is the at ear performance with the vented end cap. I thought it was my imagination while using it, but confirmed by Pew Science, this can is quieter at the shooter's ear with the vented end cap. Also, if you take that number and compare it to other cans of roughly the same size, I think you'll see that it is a very quiet silencer delivering seriously low back pressure performance. If you haven't heard of Pew Science, he is using some impressive technology to evaluate silencers as they are perceived by the human ear, and I highly recommend you go check him out and all the data he is publishing. The torch also won't have any ill effects on your accuracy. We made multiple impressive shots with the torch on various rifles, like this Adams Arms at 1,080 yards.
owned an 8 inch AR in 5.56 at 525 yards, which I also feel is fairly impressive. All things considered, this is one of the top performing 5.56 silencers available today, and the vented or low back pressure feature is a huge plus. I'll use this for a lot of guns in my collection, but I especially like it on 6 Arc. I've been looking for a can that really shines on 6 Arc for a while, and the torch with the vented end cap is exactly what I've been looking for. Whether you're looking for a 5.56 can or a 6 arc can, the torch needs to be on your short list of cans to consider. The technology is impressive and the performance is outstanding. It's a huge plus having the two end caps giving two different types of performance and that is absolutely huge. I would love to see Liberty Precision Machine put a baffle stack like this in a 30 cal can, giving the user all the advantages of the torch in a 30 cal offering. A huge thank you goes out to Callaway Ballistics for providing all the ammo that we shot in this video. Be sure to go check them out for all of your ammo needs. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because as always, we have some really big reviews in the works that you won't want to miss. If you want to know what those reviews are way before they hit the YouTube channel, check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter where you can see what's being reviewed in real time. And by the way, check the links in the description there. You can find some cool stuff that I found and the best deals on it. If you wanna help support Alabama Arsenal, the absolute best way to do that is through Patreon. These videos can be surprisingly expensive to make and every little bit helps and is greatly appreciated. There's also Alabama Arsenal gear available right below the video if you wanna go out and represent. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching.